All right, so we've got the frog. All right, we did the external anatomy like two weeks ago now, um, looking at the nictitating membrane on the eyes, the narrators uh, on the inside, and then we cut the jaw so we can fold the mouth open and we can see some of the, the internal mouth anatomy as well. You only need to do that if you're doing the, um, the overall anatomy, okay? Because uh, I showed you all this already, so don't stress about that if you're going to do like the heart or the, the reproduction system. Now, these ones are injected with a dye to highlight the veins and arteries uh, on the underside of the skin. So your cut down the middle is going to be a little tricky. Um, and we're going to use a couple different cuts. The first one is called a pinch cut, and you take your scissors, okay? Uh, we're not going to be using the razor blades, so you don't need to, or a scalpel or anything, so don't worry about that. But a pinch cut is just what it sounds like. So when you pinch somebody, you squeeze your fingers together and you pinch the skin. Pinch cut is the same thing. So we're going to be doing a cut down the midline or the median or the medial line of the frog's body, and then we're going to do they're called transverse cuts that go across the from left to right, like shoulder blade to shoulder blade or hip to hip. Um, so a pinch cut sometimes it's easier if you flip your fingers over into the scissors, so you're holding them pointing down rather than trying to tweak your hand over top like that. Uh, I don't care how you do it though. So. Easy way to do it is you just take it and you grab a little piece of the skin. Don't cut through the muscle yet. We're going to do that in the next step. So take your, your scissors and just do a little snip. And then you know you got through if you can take your scissors and you can lift on the underside like that. So, And then to cut through to make sure we don't cut any organs or anything underneath, we do a lift and snip. So your scissors should pop out. So don't just take them and start chopping down the middle because you'll you could rupture like a stomach or you could um, break a lung or something like that and if we're trying to get good photographs of that we don't want to break anything so you just do this work the sharp end there's a thin side of the scissors right here this blade is smaller than the fat one take the thin the skinny one and get it in there we take it and we lift and we snip okay and then do the same thing down at the bottom on the on the groin area do a little pinch cut. Okay. And then you can work your scissors in and continuing to lift and snip. And you want to cut all the way around to the side of the frog on the top and on the bottom. So my cuts up here, I got my pinch right there. So I'll take it, and same thing, lift and snip. And you cut all the way to the jawline. Okay. Now, there are membranes that hold the skin to the muscle cavity, and some of those start to grip. So if you take, this is called a probe. If you take this and you just run it along the inside there, the membranes are very, very fragile. And you can work the skin back like, like so. Okay, just take this and kind of scrape it away. So what we want to see, we've got these nice bright red arteries here. Their arteries and their veins run right on the surface of their skin. So when they're hibernating uh, during the winter, they don't breathe because oxygen can diffuse through their skin right into their bloodstream, which is pretty cool. So their circulatory system is very different than ours. Um, so you do this on both sides. And if you break a couple arteries, it's fine. If you're uncomfortable with that, just take your scissors and you can cut the membrane. Now the body cavity is this. This is all muscle here. Okay. Um, same thing. So go to where your pinch cut was when you started uh, on the skin. So we'll take this and you need to go deeper with this one to get all the way in. So same thing, after you get your pinch cut done, take your scissors, insert it into the cavity, lift with the scissors, and cut through the muscle. Okay, and it's it's important to lift at this point because underneath, right, you've got all your intestines in here, you've got your stomach, um, the liver is this guy right here actually. So this will be a little bit easier because they've already got a cut where they injected the dye. So do a cut up to where the, the first incision is and then continue the cut up to the throat.
the larynx area up on the top. So, yeah, right, right around, right here, you're gonna run into the rib cage. Okay, and it's, I mean, you have to cut through the bone. The bones are soft. It's not too bad, but make sure you get a good solid cut through the bone like that, and you'll feel it. And it's fine. Okay, but it's important again to lift when you're doing your cut because you don't want to cut the heart yet. Okay, so again, here's your transversal or um, your medial cut, and then where your pinch was, take your scissors along the hip, and the groin, lifting as you go underneath the muscle. Okay, so when you're done cutting everything away. Should have a large opening. 